what you guys got another video here for you why is linux more safer than windows you're going to get a lot of linux users that will say linux is more safer than windows and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video got an email from someone asking about linux operating systems and he was thinking about installing linux mint and moving away from windows 10 and he said is it safer than windows and to be honest with you uh, the short answer to that is yes it is and I'm going to go through some really basic stuff just to show you the differences between Linux and Windows in general. So let's first talk about Linux is more secure than Windows because of the way it handles the user permissions. When you first install Linux uh, you're going to be uh, installed as a uh, general user you're not going to be or limited user you're not going to be given admin access by default like windows windows will go ahead and create an account and make you administrator and that will give you full access and permissions to the operating system and that means also when you're going on the internet and downloading stuff and installing it it's going to have administrator privileges straight away and that's been a real problem for windows from the off now you can set it up so it's more secure and so it's not doing that and set yourself up as a limited user and you have to put in passwords to uh, install stuff now linux on the other hand uses things like software managers and packet managers and things like that you can see here all the stuff inside here has been vetted and looked at and made sure that it's safe for use so on the internet as a windows user you'll be going to go around and surfing the web looking for files these could be whatever files you want so let's just take a look here uh, let's have a look at this one here so you'll see here when you go to install it's going to ask for authentication for me to install it or even remove the software and this is a really nice feature it means that people have to give permission to say yes i do want this to install it's a, it's a security level that you should have on Windows by default, which isn't there. So when you authenticate that, it will just go ahead and download that from a safe source and install it. The problem with Windows is it's completely different. It uses executable files. You go onto the internet like this. I'm just going to show you here. You go on the internet and we'll be searching the web for files. And away we go. So we're on the internet now, and let's just say, for instance, we want HW Monitor, and we're looking for a program. Sometimes you'll see mirror sites on here. These are the main sites here, but you get a lot of mirror sites, people linking to stuff like these. And the problem with these is they're normally laced with adverts and marketing and uh, and unsavory stuff. So you've got to be very, very careful. These are like links to places you'll get bombarded with stuff like this now you can block a lot of this stuff but what i'm talking about here is the way windows works different to linux so for instance we go ahead and you're going to download it and then you'll start uh, getting downloaded to this page and you might even get a pop-up here saying why don't you download winzip or install winzip or install that software antivirus program and things like that that's where you've got to be careful and it's going to continue ask you you can see here it's asking us to now download this up at the top here if we wanted to so you generally get a lot of this going on and you'll see that file is an executable file so it's not going to work on here so that doesn't work the same way now the only difference between we're doing things here with linux and windows is the way you download and install software that's one way you're still doing banking you can see here it wants me to download this program it's nagging me here and here so if you're doing banking online that also means as well that you're vulnerable via your browser no matter whether you're using linux or windows you're still vulnerable uh, to dodgy cyber criminals by logging into your bank and this is where you have to be super careful uh, the same security measures will come into place whether you're on linux or on windows it doesn't really matter you might say people say yeah but you're safer on linux 
because you've not got the malware that's going to infect the browser. The yeah, short answer to that is yes, that is the truth because there isn't, there's very little Linux malware that exists on the internet in the wild, uh, which is live and active. What we mean by live and active means it's actually still working and can still infiltrate the system. Uh, like ransomware and stuff like that. So you still got to be careful. But malware would have to gain access to the root access to your system on a Linux system, where here it's on Windows, it's not going to be that difficult because you're running as administrator as well. So you have to bear that in mind when you're doing things. But that doesn't mean that Linux is immune uh, to being infected. There's a lot of infections that have happened to Linux. And of course, over the years, uh, there's all sorts of ransomware, botnets, rootkits, Trojans, viruses, worms, you name it. There is stuff that is out there to Linux as well as Windows. So it doesn't mean you're completely immune, but there's just very little of it. And of course, Linux vulnerabilities are not as bad uh, as windows and the short answer to that is pretty simple really and a lot of people might disagree but sim cyber criminals are not going to typically target uh you know linux users because they've got such a low user database there's only two percent of people that use linux themselves uh, cyber criminals are going to go after windows users which obviously have 80 plus percent of the market share. But yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to go after the bigger fish. You know, if you've got a shoal of fish in the ocean and you've got one fish over there and you're fishing, you're not going to go and fish in that area where there's just one fish. You're going to fish where the shoal is. So you've got a chance of catching something. And that's what malware is or cyber criminals are doing. They're looking for uh, easy targets and the way windows installs stuff it just makes it a lot more easier you click on stuff it installs and you can get infected there's plenty of programs out there that are portable packaged programs for windows which can contain malware cracks uh, and piracy and stuff like that uh, you know you've got to be super careful on windows whereas linux you're not having that sort of um you're not going down that route with Linux. So they're the things you have to be careful. Now, you still have to be careful in Linux when you're running scripts and stuff like that because you still need to be sure that what you're running is safe. So if you're running some big script or something like that, it's like running a PowerShell script and not knowing what it does. That's just stupid. If you're going to go and download a script off the Internet, and that is why I try not to share scripts in my video descriptions because I don't want someone running that script and then disabling or deleting something that they need and then of course they don't know how to install it and then they have to reinstall Windows and of course I will get that nasty comment saying this guy broke my PC no you broke it you run the script and you wasn't clever enough to actually understand what the script is doing or you skip through the video and you didn't listen to what I was saying so they're the reasons why you have to still be careful. So keep all your software updated and your OS updated, whether you're on Linux and on Windows, it really doesn't matter. Beware of phishing sites, although Windows uh, scam sites are not going to really affect you if you're on a Linux based system. If you've got a Windows stop error and you're running a Windows, a Linux based system, that's not going to really affect you uh, because you're on a different operating system. That doesn't mean that social engineering stops for Linux users. If you are a Linux user and you're very vulnerable to people tricking you, which is very unlikely because a lot more uh, tech savvy people use Linux. Whereas, um, you know, if you are one of these people that are vulnerable to that and someone is trying to trick you, you can still get scammed whether you're on Linux or whether you're on Windows if you're being tricked. So you've got to be careful. Another thing that is very important is when you're looking at Mal on Windows compared to Linux, they work in different ways. Like Outlook on Windows, uh, you're going to see attachments. And when you see attachments, they're going to be clickable. And you click on them, and they could be a PDF file with a picture of a PDF 
and it could be an executable file. In Windows, the extension is hidden by default, and you could click on this and it will then infect you very quick and easy if you haven't got the adequate email um, scanning software that check, protects your uh, email client from having malware in it. When you're on Linux, it, you're going to have to save that attachment. You're going to have to download and save it. And because it doesn't work as a double click execution type thing, you're not going to be able to get infected as easy via that method. It's a, just a different way of getting infected. Now you can use uh, antivirus programs. There is antivirus programs out there for Linux if you feel that you need to use one. Uh, but you'll probably find that a lot of Linux users don't even use one of those. But if you do want one, you can get them. There's paid ones and there's free ones available for Linux, just like Windows. And personally, in the world we live in today, I would personally rather have something like that, even though we're living in the world where there is not as much malware for uh, Linux as there is for Windows. I would still want that little uh, safety net. Uh, maybe firewall or something like that just to protect uh, myself from that sort of environment out there on the internet because you are wide open you have to be a bit careful anyway i don't think no operating system is more secure than any other when it comes to user error because when you come to installing something it's going to come down to you authenticating that on linux you would have to authorize it to install it and if you've if it's malicious and you haven't got any sort of software to tell you it's malicious, then it's just going to run and install. Common sense comes into play. And it's the same thing with Windows. It's just more pronounced on Windows because of the bigger market share and the amount of junk on the internet that can infect Windows uh, because people target it so much. But with that said, I think that's going to be about it. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Bill Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, Thanks again for watching. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.